I was never at the exact same place for years, you know, but, and I can't go into what my cover may or may not have been. It's always different. Sometimes yeah. it changes, you know, um, <clears throat> sometimes it changes at the exact same location, but you start to build these pattern of life, no matter what your duration at that spot is, because maybe, you know, you, if you think we're the only ones that knows that I was on a 45 day rotation, you're crazy. Every, all of these entities that I just talked about, they all know the rotations as well. You know what I mean? And so right. the pattern of life may be, it may not be your specific pattern of life, but it's whoever is in your rotation. You know what I mean? Whoever you're replacing, because I'm not just leaving and going somewhere else. Somebody with the exact same skill set is coming in behind me to fill my slot. You know what I mean? And so they'll pick up that pattern of life. We'll have a turnover for a couple of days, maybe a week. And it's like, hey, this is the pattern of life. This is this. This is who you need to watch out for. This is what the Chinese are driving. This is what the Russians are driving. This is what the Iranians are driving. This is what they look like. This is how many of them are. This is their weapons. These are the cameras they use. This is how they transmit information. All that stuff gets passed. Yeah, that's what's confusing to me about thinking about the specific role you're playing because you're kind of you're in a spot where you automatically stick out if you're doing that like you said they know they know the length of some of these rotations so they see some white dude drop into wherever you know where there's not a lot of white people and you know he's an american and oh he's here for 40 well cia spy right like i, I don't see why like what you could possibly do to get them to not have some recognizability on you. Because then like, let's say you drop into one country, let's say you do 120 day rotation and then you leave the people that were watching you when they see you drop into some other country a year later, they got to know, right? Like they got to know that you're, you're not just like some business guy. Like you're, you're, there's a high degree of, of confidence that you're some sort of spy. Well, I don't know how the hell they do it now with this facial recognition shit, but because mm. that's, that's a whole nother beast that I didn't have to deal with. But, you know, you're not always, you're not always, look, maybe, maybe I'm a businessman or they think I'm a businessman and I'm just coming back every 45 days to make a new deal or mm -hmm. meet with my business contacts. You know what I mean? Maybe I'm embedded in, I don't know, I'm a, an oil titan out of Texas. And that's why I mm. happen to be in the Middle East. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's why I'm dressed uh, in a business suit with a Rolex and nice glasses. You know what I mean? And, and I'm driving a nice car. And then the next place I go, you know, maybe, um, I don't know, maybe who, who, you see what I'm getting yes. at, you know, yes. did you ever get made and know it? Oh yeah. Like a lot or, uh, I mean, not a lot, but yeah, it's happened. What'd you do? I got shot at. <laughs> oh shit! <laughs> but I mean, yeah, you know, I mean, you do get made, and sometimes uh, you have to you have to come to the determination whether is this is this it's oh it's a judgment call just like anything else. It's all right. Do we just roll with the punches and continue on, or do we get made by somebody that's gonna that we need to drop the mission? You know, it, it it depends. What happens if we do drop the mission? Maybe it's maybe it's a mission that's not, you know, maybe it's not super critical. Maybe we just started it and it's like, all right, let's just wipe what we did, let it cool off for a minute and then come back. Or maybe it's something like, you know, I mean, it it, it it's not everything is of the utmost importance like the bin Laden raid. Right. You know? What's the what's the cadence though? Like when you get shot at, I assume because again I don't know what kind of detail you can go into that, but like I assume that's probably in a public place. Maybe it's somewhere where there's a lot of bullets flying all the time. I don't know, but like you just start shooting back or like what? No. Do, you, do you have a protocol? Like what's your? I mean, if you can, and 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 shooting back would be about the last thing you'd want to do because that's like a dead 
giveaway. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so the, the thing to do when you're doing espionage and stuff like that is just get the just do what you can to get the hell out of there, you know? A few bullets flying. <laughs> yeah. I mean it sucks. It it's it's horrible. I've had it happen a couple of times. But <clears throat> You know, you you just gotta you gotta drive on. You're not when you're working there. You're not there to pick a fight. Mm. You know, you're not you're not there to not 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 that it's letting your ego get the best of you. I mean, yeah, I wanted to kill every one of those guys that shot at me or shot my vehicle up or or whatever. You know, but that would have it just wouldn't have ended well for me. It was it would have been better for me to escape and evade. And let it cool off because then it's well maybe i don't know maybe that was just maybe we were wrong yeah you know when you when you're in these various places though the things we see in the movies all the time which i take with an enormous grain of salt because you know hollywood obviously changes a lot of things but like we constantly see that there's like a safe house everywhere mm -hmm. is that somewhat realistic or did it really vary based on where you were oh it varies i mean it's very realistic but it varies <clears throat> and yeah. how do you not like that's what i always wondered how does safe houses not get made because they're kind of like sitting ducks like they're a house people go in and out they don't move it all depends on how much you use it mm. <clears throat> you know there's houses that there are locations that you may use once a year, you know what I mean? And maybe the family who owns the house is still there. Mm. Guess what they have? A pattern of life. Yes. Got it. Maybe you enter into that pattern of life and you happen to have dinner with them every Friday and so it becomes a normal thing. That would be a safe house. So it's, it's more of a symbol in the word rather than an actual you just go there when things go red it's not a mold you know what i mean it's not mm -hmm. like it's not every safe house is the same a safe house could be a hotel room a safe house could be a house a safe house could be a water plant a safe house could be it could be all it could be an office building it could be right. anywhere you know it, it all depends on what fits in in with what you're doing you know, it's not in, in the best way to hide is in plain sight. Mm. It's not, it's not the Batman cave or the house that's way out in the country that nobody, those aren't, because what do I do if somebody's following me out there? Why the hell is this white <laughs> dude? You know what I mean? <laughs> it's got my ranch going, out in the country here. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just going to my finca out in the middle of nowhere in <laughs> Columbia, but, um, you know what I mean? It's, yeah. it's, it's. Everything has to fit. Mm. Everything has to fit the narrative. Thank you for watching the video, guys. Please hit that subscribe button and check out this clip's full podcast episode by clicking here or in the description below.